Thank you, Frank. And the horses and drivers are now moving in behind the starting gate. Post time for this evening's first race. First half of the Daily Double along the inside. It will be high viscosity with Dan Johnson driving. Wolf is moving in next with Bryce Fenn. Next comes Rebel Count and Ken Hardy, D. Alexandros and Robert Manders. Peter Perdue with Ron Henderson and on the outside, Fortune Silster and Dave Haney. As the field is moving in behind the starting gate, the overwhelming favorite at 3 to 5 at this time, number one, High Viscosity. This horse has won his last three starts in a row. Although he's stepping up quite a bit in class this evening, he's facing a few horses that are coming down out of open company. Field for the first race, now moving on through the back stretch. And there they go. They're off and pacing, going on out for a short lead is High Viscosity. Coming away second is Wolf. And moving up on the outside third is D. Alexandra, settling in to be fourth into the turn, Rebel Count. Coming on to be fifth is Peter Perdue, and Fortune Sealster is trailing as they race on over towards the quarter with the lead is High Viscosity. Racing second is Wolf, D. Alexandra is now third, Rebel Count along the inside. Peter Perdue and Fortune Sealster racing over towards the quarter, no change, High Viscosity. First quarter, 28 and 3. On through the stretch for the first time, D. Alexandros coming to challenge for the lead. That's High Viscosity on top. D. Alexandros right alongside. Racing third in at the rail is Wolf along fourth. Rebel Count coming on fifth is Peter Perdue. Racing sixth is Fortune Silster. Approaching the halfway station, High Viscosity still with the lead. D. Alexandros applying the pressure on the outside. Wolf remains in third. Rebel Count is fourth and they reach the half in 59 seconds flat. Down the back stretch they go. High Viscosity still with the lead. The Alexandros just a half a length away on the outside. Wolf is third. Rebel Count fourth. Peter Perdue and Fortune Sealster. Still no moves as they approach three quarters. High Viscosity continues to lead. The Alexandros going the long mile on the outside. And there goes Rebel Count starting up on the extreme outside. Wolf down along the inside with Peter Perdue and Fortune Sealster. Three quarters in one, 28 and two. Racing on around the turn, High Viscosity still with the lead. Rebel Count coming alongside to challenge. Wolf has moved through to be third. Along the inside is Peter Perdue, way out wide, Fortune Sealster. The Alexandros now trailing into the stretch. High Viscosity still with the lead. Rebel Count coming on the outside, second. On the outside, Peter Perdue and Wolf on through the stretch. High Viscosity, wire to wire. Well, we complimented the track crew for their fine preparation of the surface for this evening's races. We did not expect to see that first race in 158 and 3. High viscosity, thoroughly impressive, goes off as the 1 to 2 favorite, paying 310 to win. And here he is coming back to the winner's circle for his regular pilot, Dan Johnson, who goes wire to wire once again. Bothered on the outside by D. Alexandros, withstood that challenge, then Rebel Count coming at him late, and he just cruises under the wire so efficiently as he did here last Tuesday night as well when he closed in 28-4. and four. Not quite as quick tonight in the closing quarter at 30-1, and one, but still wire-to-wire -wire fashion for high viscosity, paying 310, 250, and 220. Rebel Count getting up for second place, paying 480 and 220. And the show horse number five, Peter Perdue, the 1-3 first race exactor, returning $17 even. And this is the conditioner of high viscosity, trainer Ron Wilson. Ron, uh, very briefly, is he the best you've ever had? Uh, he's the best I've ever raced, yeah. He seems to have some strikes against him in that he is not the uh, soundest. He's only the size of a pony, but does he, does he ever have a big heart? He's got the biggest heart of, of any horse I've ever had. He's got a screw in the one knee, a blown suspensory in the, the other front leg. He's off behind somewhere. We don't even know where that is, but he's just all heart, all racehorse. Now, I overheard one of your owners say, after that mile, bring on Swift Asset. Is that overestimating him just a bit? Well, Swift Asset is, like, totally kind of an awesome horse. Like, it's a little hard to say that we could beat him, but I tell you, if any horse I ever raced could, this one could. Now, I have more than a passing acquaintance with uh, Ron here. He and I were in the maternity ward last year, this week, when our daughters were born. And I understand a special birthday in the Wilson family tonight. Yeah, tonight her daughter Amanda Lee is a year old. Ron, congratulations. Thank you.